growing up with my brothers, uh, we used to go fishing a lot and my grandfather had built an ice fishing shed and we used to push it out on the ice and go out and it was something that I did with my brothers and my grandfather and just a lot of really great childhood memories. I just love the idea of it and I think I love the sort of just seasonality of it. They just, all of a sudden, this little community popped up on the ice was complete with houses, right? It looked like a tiny little community and people would be going out there, spending time out there. And then all of a sudden comes spring break up and the ice melt and it was gone. All these little towns or little, you know, kingdoms were disappeared, but it was a kind of a magical time, like magical memories from childhood. On one big wall, there's a seal that looks out at the viewer, and on the other wall, there's a polar bear that's diving down. All four walls are joined together, kind of with these smooth lines that could be waves or water or fish, or it could even represent light coming down through the water column. And that was just thinking about the weather changes that we have, climate changes and polar bears and how there's less ice and, you know, and the sort of cycle of their food. And then the roof panels, they're all made of um, just sort of a horizon line of Tablelands Mountains and then Northern Lights above them. My dream was to be able to install it in various remote locations and take photographs of it there and just kind of hope to leave it up for a few days and just hope that somebody would randomly come across it. The problem that I encountered when after my first few setups is I realized that I really can't leave it overnight if we get a big windstorm or heavy snow, chances are things are going to break. Now I've realized I'm going to take it out to small little distances, take it down at the end of the day and hope that we don't get any big change of the weather. Between the end of October and my first setup in January, I didn't take weekends off or something like that. I was in the studio virtually every day trying to get this done. Then on my bucket list of personal things I would love to create, and I just finally just decided I'm going to make it happen. I'm not waiting for, you know, grants or anything else to fall into place. I just thought this is my time and I'm going to do it now and, and just go for it. So materials and labor between ten dollars and $12,000. So it's a really big investment financially as well. But for me, I, I, I feel like it's worth it. I'm really, every time I set it up, it just makes me really happy.